socket or spanner? Socket. This one. Back where we'd stayed the night, I was now out of hospital, nursing a broken rib and trying to save the really badly wounded patient. Starting from the front, underneath there, the radiator is broken and is leaking. The oil cooler is mangled. This is the intercooler pipe. As you can see, the airflow through that is not going to be as the manufacturer intended. This brake caliper actually cracked in the impact and now leaks. This is the drive shaft. Which is, ah, oh God. Ah, that is very broken. Bodywork is mangled. This wheel is in the wrong position. It's not pointing the right way. The exhaust, it's all now several inches further that way. This car is extremely badly wounded, but it isn't dead. Let's hope. Ow, I shouldn't have done that. We can push it back into shape. Meanwhile, back in Norway, Progress in my workshop wasn't so good. Ah, that bit should be there. That should be rectangular. Wow. OK, what next? Before Hammond noticed my handiwork, we received news that Captain Slow was about to arrive. And this caused us to wonder, in what? I'm strangely conflicted because I desperately want him to be in the Volvo and I desperately want him to be in the Evo. Yeah, I know what you mean. I want him to be in the Volvo because he deserves to be in the yeah. Volvo, just for hurting the Evo. Yeah. No way. Oh, wow. No way. <laughs> I am elated. Hello. We are pleased and angry simultaneously. Oh. It's not pretty. No, it's like Frankenstein's Evo. And it lives as well. What was broken on it? Well, intercooler, radiator, oil cooler, wheel, wishbone, top wishbone, drive shaft, chassis rail, door, um, exhaust, engine out of alignment. You really did hurt. It's worse than that. Half the people in the world hate you mm -hmm. because you destroyed an Evo, and people are divided into people who like Subarus and like Evos. But the other half of the world also hates you because you took away the Subaru's competitor. So everybody uh, hates you. It's still here. Yes. You've missed a lot of testing. Hammond and I headed further east through the empty landscape. With me still a bit dumbstruck about how the Evo had come back from the dead. Think what happened to the front of this car. The front wishbone was bent back on itself. But here we are. Temperature absolutely stable. Steering rock steady. I'd, I wouldn't have believed it. If we were in an old black and white British newsreel, it would be described as a plucky chap. But it's more than a plucky chap. I mean, it's just incredible. 